focus. Is it focus? Hi guys, it's your girl Kelsey and I'm back with another video and if you can't read the title of the video down below, it is my Q&A video. I've been wanting to do this for a while and since we're home bored on lockdown, let's do this. So I posted it on my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my WhatsApp status and I got some questions and some from my friends because my friends love me and they always want to support me. So yeah, I'm going to be answering 26 questions. That's it. It was supposed to be 25, but I got this one question that I needed to add, you know. So, we're going to answer 26 questions. And we try not to do no long talking or nothing. And before we get into this video, be sure to like it. Hit the share button. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you know when I post my next video. So let's go. The first question is, what are you majoring in? I am doing two majors, hospitality management and marketing and advertising. I couldn't choose one. Simple. What are your thoughts on the lockdown? Well, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. But the lockdown is necessary to flatten the curve. So stop warm. Okay? Stop warm. That's all. And if you have like mental problems and stuff and you need socialization or whatever, there are a lot of apps out there you can use to have video calls with your friends and have a game night. Or there's people out there you could call to get counseling and stuff, okay? But it's needed and I'm not mad at it. The earth's never been this clean. So, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Anyways, number three, you ever had a, had a mustache? If so, do you shave it? No. Well, I don't really see it. But no, I've never shaved it. But I have, I get beards. By the way, TMI, but I get beards and I pop those bad boys every week. Because I'm hairy, okay? My hair goes fast. Um, number four, do you see yourself, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Well, as you guys can see, I didn't give any of these questions any thought before time. In the next 10 years, I see myself at least owning one business. Like, huge business where I hire people, not my little businesses that I don't hire anybody. And I see myself also working for the government. I don't, I don't know why I want to work for the government so bad, but I want to work for the government. Okay? And, um with at least two kids already maybe one a uh, third one on the way <laughs> married in a my dream house and looking still beautiful um are you single well if we're talking about it in the term of filling out forms yeah but no I'm not and like somebody asked me that I decided I wasn't going to put on the list but I'm going to put it if they shoot their shot are they going to miss yeah even if your aim is A1 you're going to miss okay don't shoot it how was the transition being 21 years old in Nevis to now in the states well I turned 21 well I was in the states I only spent like 3 months being 21 here in Nevis well, I'm kind of am 21 still. I ain't celebrating my 22nd birthday. So I'm kind of still 21. But the difference is a 21 year old here in Nevis, they're like an adult adult. Like, you already working for a couple of years. You paying bills. You doing stuff stuff. Like, yeah. Even though you might still live with your mom. And then 21 years old in the US, you're expected to be like a party animal. That's not me. But yeah, 21? I don't know. 
Um, I act the same no matter my age, so it don't really matter. But yeah, that's what I have to say. Why they call it a toothbrush and not a teeth brush? <laughs> well, I recently started calling my toothbrush a teeth brush because I don't just use my toothbrush, quote unquote, because I don't call it that no more, to brush one tooth. I use it to brush teeth. So, I'm going to call that a teeth brush because if you call it a toothbrush, you might stink. If you were to cut off a piece of your body to win a million dollars, what part of your body would it be and why? Well, my hair, <laughs> it's a part of my body, snip, snip, cause my hair goes fast, so it doesn't really matter, so my hair, my answer is my hair, that's my final answer, I was thinking about my toes or one of my fingers or something, but my final answer, my hair, um, <laughs> snip, snip, give me that melee, how many times would you consider being too many times to get drunk, I think, as a female, twice don't do that don't do that okay don't do that don't do that because it's not a good look it's just a bad, bad 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 look it's a bad look like it's a bad look don't do it at what age did you have your first boyfriend so, since we all going with this thing about high school doesn't count because you were young and stupid, mine is still in high school, but that's not the point. The others before were just friends that I talked to more than my other friends. Okay? So, it was Fort Farm. Fort Farm. Fort Farm. How old have you been at Fort Farm? By Fort Farm. I can't tell you how old I was because I don't remember the ages you were in those classes. But for fun. Um, if you're in a relationship and you go to the bar by yourself and a guy starts flirting with you and you indulge knowing nothing will happen but your boyfriend's friend saw you and told him, do you think you cheated or do you think he would be upset? If you had asked me this two, three years ago, I would say, no, it was just a simple flare. But no, ain't no simple flare, friend. You cheat. Okay? Even if you ain't had no intentions of doing nothing else, you cheat. Unless you know, your boyfriend got understanding. But other than that, if y'all ain't got understanding, you cheat. Prep and pure. And done there. Okay? What are your thoughts on abortion? Personally, I won't do it. I am pro-life for myself. But I can't judge anyone because I am not God. Okay? Personally, I'm pro-life. Anybody do what you want to do, boo. But like, the only time I just really be like, oh, I understand it why they do abortion or whatever is like a rape victim or whatever because like even though they say oh you could add put it up for adoption or whatever, whatever you're still going to spend nine months remembering and holding on to you know parts of your situation so yeah but other than that i say keep that god if god bless it bless you with it it's for you What are your thoughts on premarital sex? I think there's somebody who said that um, everybody you have sex with, you take a piece of them and you leave a piece of you with them. And that is true. Like, it's something you're not supposed to do because, like, it got messed you up for your real, real relationship when you actually get married. Oh, I'm talking in the vision. Can you guys understand me? Anyways, yeah, it got messed you up for when you actually get married. So, yeah kids out there who's watching don't 
and people who are out there already doing it refrain because it don't just mess you up just listen to it and you could get pregnant or get a child also with love yeah wanna there's too much work huh too much work how are you coping with the COVID-19 well to be honest it was really over me on my mind because your girl was doing finishing her school as of yesterday I took my last exam so I'm kind of finished but I'm not finished because I still got something to do on Sunday but yeah I haven't been coping with it, like dealing with it because of school, but has it done things to me? Yep. It made me spend a whole extra plane ticket money, a whole extra two months of storage. So yeah, it beating me up, but right now I'm just doing what they say, stay home. Not like I go out on a normal day. <laughs> Stay home and wear your mask when you're out. That's the one I'm kind of iffy with because I can't breathe well with my mask on, but I try to do it still. You know, set an example. How many kids do you want? If he can give me three kids, peace. Okay? Peace. I want three kids at least. And maximum. <laughs> so three. Um, what age do you want to have kids? I never set any age really I just knew what I wanted for myself I wanted to have already graduated from college and if not have a house building one that's in my name only and be married those are the three things I need to be need to have done before I get kids and hopefully it's before 28 right now I'm gonna tell you guys my age okay I'm making 23 this year so right now I have five years to complete those three things and I'm finished college soon in like a year or two a year a year, a year? I don't remember and then you know I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna start building a house and get married it was nice but yeah um do you want to be married and why yes I want to be married because it's just something I've dreamt about for my life and then I want kids and I'm not getting kids unless I'm married. I'm just not. I just can't. What are your thoughts on the tradition of circumcision <laughs> circumcision of females? Um female genitalia. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I ain't as smart as people think I'm smart. But thank you, friend who sent me this. I know who you are and you know who you are too. Cause he's smart. But anyways, yeah, um, I don't knock people's traditions. I don't. That's one thing I won't do. But I just think that's cool. Okay? I just think it's cool. What are your pet peeves and why? I don't know if this is considered a pet peeve, but I don't like to repeat myself. And that is why for all those who are wondering why I speak like an American, is because I don't like to repeat myself. And if I speak in a regular Indonesian accent, standard English, they don't understand what I'm saying. So, to prevent me from getting angry at someone asking me, what did you say? I just speak like this. So, if you have a problem with it, take it to the Lord in prayer. If you could do one thing to change the world, what would it be and why? Yo, if I could just like stop every single rapist or what I call pedophile, like before they commit to act, act, I think that would change the world. Like most people would think, oh, something about the environment. So, but, well, this is about crime. But my thing is that it just caused these little girls to become girls that they don't need to become. And I just don't like to see it and I just want all girls to be happy and have great relationships so that their kids can be great and in turn we could just maybe stop some crime with that we could stop we can make everyone just equal in that 
for. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but it's on my heart. It's been on my heart for a while. It's been on my heart for a while. Dating advice in college. I don't date anyone who goes to college. But from what I've observed, especially at my school, where, well, obviously black people are a minority anywhere you go. But at my school, especially, it's a minority too. So every black person in school know, have seen, or whatever each other. So, if you're going to date, date. But don't do that thing jumping from man to man. Not in college. You're going to be known for that person and you won't find the right person. Okay? Don't be afraid to date outside your race. Personally, not for me. But if you're not sure, do it. Don't care what your friends them say. Do it. Um... Be secretive, but at the same time, let people know what's going on, if you know what I mean. So you don't go around, oh, this is, this is, this is, I go with, I talk to, uh, but when you find somebody really serious, you let people know so that people know that's, that's, that's your property. They don't go there. But, still secretive that you don't tell everybody everything you guys do. And every time you guys fight, and stuff like that. Don't. Trust your friends, but know who your friends are to trust. Okay. That's all I got. <laughs> what is the first thing you want to do after quarantine, quarantine, but there is no budget? Okay. Forget the last part about no budget. I just want to travel. I wanted to go to Atlanta to see my baby cousin who's going to be bored soon. Shout out to Z and Jez. Check out their, check out their channel. I'm going to link it down below. Cause... Um, so yeah, there's no budget for that. That's why I never booked that ticket. But I really wanted to do that. Also, I want to go to Europe. Hopefully everything stops. But I don't know when this Europe thing is about to happen. Ooh, I want to go jet, jet skiing. Like water sports. And then my thing without the budget. Like the budget is probably for those that I just mentioned. I don't know if I mixed it up. But the thing with no budget needed. I just want to go to the beach. That's all I wanted to come home to do. But I can't because... Um, how do you make friends in college? If I'm going to be honest with you, I got friends in college. One of them is my roommate. So, that counts, but it doesn't count because I didn't have to go out and meet her. I didn't have a choice. But to meet her, she's awesome. Like, I swear, even if we weren't roommates and we, like, cross paths, somehow because we are total opposite majors so I doubt that will happen but if we had crossed paths somehow we would have been friends with this awesome shout out to Celine and then I made friends with her friends which is weird personally I'm not really good at making friends because all the friends I've had were roommates not roommates were my classmates and I have my best friend who I met through paths Finder, congressary. So yeah. But in college, you may always have a friend who has the same major as you. It's, it's key. Because you're all going to be taking a lot of the same classes. And you need a friend to study with. Okay? Um, look for someone who has similar parents to you. That is key. Because if you have a friend whose parents don't care, and your parents are strict, then you're going to be doing stuff that your parents don't condone but because your friends doing it and their parents condone it you feel like it's okay but it's not because your parents don't so find friends who have similar parents to you find friends who have similar interests to you and uh, don't force friendship so it's rule number one in making friends across the board don't force it if you're forcing it cut it cut it cut it cut it, cut it. Struggles of being a black girl. 
let's talk about that here finding good shade of makeup for and makeup products but that's not a struggle anymore having white friends that's a struggle for black girls because they don't understand like i have white friends i love y'all but y'all don't understand Damn. Having other black friends too because they be petty. Black people petty. Having to be black at all times. Meaning you have to be a lover of fried chicken. You have to know all the rap songs, all the hip hop songs. So struggle of being black is being black. Put my period. Okay. Um, what, are, what are your views on Bad Bobby's escapade right now? To be honest, I don't even follow this girl on Instagram, nothing. I just check her Instagram every time the shade room has something posted of her. But I realized I need to stop because she's not worth the Instagram views. Because this girl is, okay, if you know me, one of my biggest topics that I'm not against, but I just need us as black people to understand why that sometimes we overuse it, is cultural appropriation. Because my biggest problem, and I know those white people are going to be happy I said that, Say I'm saying this, is that we have a problem with white people putting in extension braids, but we go and flat iron our hairs or put an extension straight here. Some will say white people don't have a culture, but we're trying to look like them with the straight hair. Don't come for me, people down there. But I think Black Babby is cultural appropriating just because she's also trying to darken her skin and i'm not talking about no tan this baby girl put it on darker foundation because when her hand come up you can see that okay but yeah she need to calm that she ain't all that she only 17 she not the prettiest flower in the garden so she needs to sit down like simple like she was coming at what's her girl name from from Jesse, hey Jesse, hey. I don't know her really, but she was coming at her for stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. And I was just like, the girl's not even taking you on. She's just out here trying to make some money and you're coming at her, making her get more um Instagram views that her mom got involved. And I'm just like, but Barbie's mom needs to sit down because your child beats you up. You're not supposed to be telling nobody nothing. Especially another mom. Come on. But you know, that's enough for her. She's a clout chaser. And that's it. Okay. Stop clout chasing. <laughs> what is it like to be in college? Is it worth it? It's not worth it right now. But I think if I graduate, God spare my life. And if God don't come before that, it's going to be worth it. But right now, it's just like, okay, it's just a lot of work. Teachers, some teachers who don't care. And you just feel like you're just doing the same thing every day. And it's getting frustrated. And, but. I think it's going to be worth it in the end. You get a good salary. You're full of knowledge. And especially with my major in hospitality, we have to have a certain amount of hours in the industry before we graduate. So I'm going to have a lot of experience in the industry before I graduate. So that's good. So I think it's worth it if you look at the ends and means. But right now, it's just spending money to do the same thing every day with teachers who don't care. And But... I'm not going to tell nobody not to go to school or to go to school. You make your mind up. Don't go saying Kelsey said. Because I didn't tell you what to do. I didn't tell you what to do. So those are my 26 questions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And a lot of people a lot of people who know me be telling me that I don't be showing enough of my, um, what's the word? personality in these videos just because I'm scared of the camera. How do you go like this? I can't. So that's why I kinda hold back a little bit. But yeah daddy that video you're done. So <laughs> goodbye guys. Adios. 
au revoir see you later <gasps> until next time guys don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell up Ta! so you know when i post my next video stop me on instagram guys stop me on snapchat okay i'm funny in real life i think unless my friends are lying to me but yeah <laughs> Bye.